What's up? What's up guys? So I have a really quick product review for you today. These right here, these earbuds. So I don't know if you guys watch a lot of YouTube, but it seems like every YouTuber that I seem to watch have been promoting Raycon earbuds. So I was curious. I figured I would just order them and see if they really hold up to what people claim. Now this video is not sponsored by Raycon. I don't think I'm a big enough YouTuber, quote unquote, to be sponsored by them, but I figured I like the design of earbuds like this, and I'll explain why here in a second. But I've tried many different earbuds uh, like the Raycons. I have this guy here from that I bought off Amazon. I think these were like 50 bucks. And this actually doubles as a, a charger, which is kind of neat. You can charge your phone off of this base and then the earbuds fit right in. What I don't like about this one is it's really hard to grab a hold of these ones and take it out. These are made by Aquila. I don't know, some Acme brand from China. I also have these here. I got these for like 50 bucks last year at Black Friday. Might've even been cheaper than that. These are skull candies. And these guys here, they're very similar. They just fit into your ear like that. And I'll talk about some of the differences between all of these and what I think of the Raycon ones and if they're worth it. But to save you guys some time, if you're just curious, I do think they're worth it. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not paid. I paid full price for these. I think these were 80 American, which works out to be about in Canadian pesos. It's like, I don't know, 110 bucks or something like that. I think shipping was included. Oh, and I also have these guys here with a cord that I've been using. And I'll talk about why I switched from these and I also have noise cancelling headphones to why I switched to these earbuds. So if you follow me on my channel, I do a lot of build videos and part of that is I like wearing hearing protection or ear protection. Now instead of just wearing, you know, regular foam earplugs or anything like that, I like to listen to podcast music while I work and these are great because they block out all the noise. I don't have to turn up the volume on these too high and it provides me with some level of hearing protection. So I started out with these and then Apple uh, kind of revolutionized the whole marketplace. I don't know, they were kind of the first to market with like the single type of earbud types of things. So when Skull Candy came out and these were the first pair that I had, I figured I'd give them a try, especially they're pretty inexpensive, whereas Apple iPods are like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. I really liked the Skull Candies. They were decent, sound quality was okay, they're light. And what I really like about them is you could take a phone call with just having one in your ear. Anyways, these were great. They work fine. I really like them. So then when Amazon had a, day, uh, a daily deal, I figured I'd give these a try. And I really like these. The sound quality on these Aquila Acme brand headphones or earbuds were better than the uh, Skull Candies. And then these guys I initially had, they have the cord. These are nice too. They can go behind your ear. So if you're working, you can pop one out, let one hang if you want to talk to someone and then put it back in. These were great. And the main reason why I really like these earbud style is because when I have, when I have, let's say these in, they're pretty low profile. I can put on my welding shield and it doesn't rub up against the shield. So that was kind of, I can't hear. That was kind of the really big thing. When I'm grinding, I can also stick on some of these for additional hearing protection and also to isolate and I can listen to whatever I'm listening to uh, without cranking up the volume. So that's really handy. I'm going to use the manual just to go over these really quickly, the uh, functions. Um, you press once to play or pause, answer or end the call because these have uh, tactile buttons. Whereas this guy here, the Aquila, um, it's, uh, it's touch sensitive and the skull candies are also a tactile button which i like so there's an actual feedback click when you push on them anyways back to the raycons uh, so press once play pause answer and call press twice previous song next song depending on which earbud you hit it on press three times uh, volume up volume down hold for two seconds will power it on and turn on siri or it'll reject the call 
and power off as you hold four seconds and it'll shut off. In terms of what Raycon claims for battery life, totally holds up. The other earbuds that I have are roughly about three hours and they die out. These totally will give you six hours on a full charge. And then the case itself, which is very small, uh, will give you an additional, I think, total of 24 hours. So you can charge the earbuds three times. In terms of the size, if you look at the size difference, like the Raycons are minuscule compared to even the Skull Candy, but you get way more playtime out of this because the Skull Candies, again, were only like three hours of playtime. And however, one thing I do like about the Skull Candy is the case. When you push on this button, it tells you the charge, how much charge is left in the case. Whereas on the Raycon, it only has this little white or red dial. And depending on, I don't really know how to read it. It says, I think in the manual that when it's fully red, it's fully charged. Yeah, when it's charging, the red light flashes and when it's fully charged, the, uh, the light remains red. I, I don't know, I just get confused on that. The other minor annoyance is the charging port. It's micro USB, it's not type C, which is unfortunate because everything I have is mostly type C. But the micro USB, um, when you plug the cable in, if I wanna leave it plugged in, the hinge hits that, um, depending on the size of the plug, and hits that cord and it doesn't stay open or it's a little harder to open and close. Minor detail, but still a minor annoyance. So as I mentioned, it has a tactile button that you can push. It has a positive feel, which is really nice. They have a really great fit and it came with additional um, little pieces for the ears, depending on your size of your ear canal. You can take, take off the rubber or silicone plugs and change those around. I do find they fit really nice and they hold. The other thing I really like about these is I can just use the left one independent from the right one, I can put it in the case and it will keep playing. So that's really handy. So there they are in the case, nice and compact, like they're just tiny. When you open the case, they immediately pair to your phone or connect to your phone, I should say. And I should mention connecting this to my phone, I had no issues, very simple. Of course, I didn't have any issues with any of the other ones either, but when I open them, you'll hear they'll like pair immediately. So yeah, so that's kind of cool. Whereas the other ones, you put them in the case and they shut off immediately. These, if you have something playing and you put them in the case and the, uh, the clamshell of the case remains open, they do not stop playing until you close the case. So something to note. So there you have it. That is my unbiased review of the Raycon wireless Bluetooth earbuds. I think that they're worth it. They are definitely cheaper than like AirPods or some of the more premium brands as Raycon states. And I was, again, wasn't paid by them to do this review. Although hit me up Raycon if you wanna sponsor one of my videos. Anyways, um, yeah, they fit great. Sound is really great. Like no complaints. They're actually quite bassy. I had to turn down the bass uh, on my EQ um, in my music app. So very, very good. Vocals are great. So premium sound, or at least what I think is premium sound, or what I consider premium sound. Good fit and finish, um, reliable, haven't had any issues with connectivity, very reliable. And for my use case, again, here in the shop, stick hearing protection on, or my welding shield, and I can still listen to my music. All right, so I do give these a recommend. Leave a comment below. I'd be interested to hear what yeah, some of you guys is what you do for um, hearing protection when maybe when you work in your shop or um, do you like these types of earbuds or do you prefer regular earphones or do you just blare the radio? For the price to performance ratio, I think they're worth it. So all these YouTubers advertising these, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's good. I think it's all right. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.